AI is absolutely crazy. Check this out. You didn't even realize, but I'm completely AI generated. I can show you how to create AI influencers that look ultra realistic. You can make me review your product. And you can dress me however you want. I will sell your product like this facial cream. Or I can do an unboxing. I don't sleep. I deliver your videos almost instantly and I look consistent in every ad you make. Yeah, so I might be cooked here because these AI influencers or AI UGC creators actually aren't real. And I made these ads in just a few hours of my time. Now, in this video, I will show you how you can do the same, how you can use just one platform to make all of these different type of UGC ads. You can do a realistic AI influencer, a UGC type ad, product ad, an unboxing and more. We will show everything throughout this video, so let's get started. So the tool that we will be using for this is called Arcad AI. I will leave a link to it in the description down below and you can sign up and get started. So we're starting off pretty easy. We want to make our first UGC ad. Now that can be done several different ways. Let me just show you all the different ways what you can do. In Arcad, you can choose between talking actors and here you can choose any type of actor from their library. Seriously, they have so many different actors that it's just getting hard to choose which one you exactly want. So I would say go through the newly added. They've had some great people like for example, this girl. Hey you, welcome to Arcad. I'm one of the natural AI actors. You yeah, that looks pretty realistic. So that is using existing actors. These are actually based off of real people. Now, if you want to have or make something unique and you want to have this tailored to your brand, then you can also use the video feature here, the presets. And here you have Sora two actors. Just take a look at these. Hey, um, crazy thing. <laughs> I'm not actually real. I know. I look like every other girl on your feed. Messy hair, cozy sweater, sun coming in, but I'm 100% generated. Arcad's AI me. That's wild, right? Now, the other way is using Nano Banana. So if we go over to image, we could here generate an image using Nano Banana and you can generate your own UGC type person. It doesn't have to be UGC type. It can be any type of actor, anything that you want to have in your videos. So I've actually made this actor right here. I'm actually usually so picky with energy drinks because I- And her name is Phoebe. Now, if you want to make a actor like her, what you can do is you can go over to my actors and here you can see all the actors that you have. You can create a new actor and you can do so from a prompt and reference images or you can upload an existing image image in there. So if you want to make your own actor, you can just type your prompt right here and then it will start creating your actor using kind of like an image generator. Now this is super simple. So we already have our actor right here. So we're just going to select her. And then what we can do for this first video, I want to make an advertisement about energy drinks and I want to have my own energy drink. So I'm naming it Keeft Energy. So what you can do is you can add in certain emotions in this video. Now, if I tap in like the slash button, then I can choose between happy, sad, angry, excited, nervous, calm, a lot of these different emotions that will help with making the voice sound more custom to your needs. It's not sounding that flat. It's like actual really happy or actually sad. And if you generate this, which I already have done for you, then you get something like this. I'm actually usually so picky with energy drinks because I hate that chemical aftertaste. But I saw this one called Keeft Energy and decided to give it a shot. Honestly, it's it's super crisp. I feel awake, but not jittery, which is a total miracle for me. So yeah, definitely gonna grab more of these. We're missing something, right? Like we're missing the actual energy drink. Now to solve that, you can use Nano Banana inside of Arcade. So what we need to do first is we need to download this video. Now after downloading the video, what you wanna do is you wanna scroll through the video and you wanna find a part where you wanna take a screenshot. So you can simply take a screenshot like this, or you can grab a frame like that. So then you click on this image icon right here and you add in the image of your character. So that is this screenshot. And now we add in another image of the product that you have. So I have my very own Keeft Energy right here. Now we're simply prompting it to have her hold the can in her hand. So then we click on generate and now we have an image like this. So we got a few of them. Some look better than the others. This one doesn't look too great. This one looks pretty good. And this one doesn't look that great. So we're using this one and now you can make this into a video. So we click on transform to video and now we can give it our prompt. So then you add in your prompt and now this next step is super important because if you do this wrong, your generation will fail. You don't want to select Sora 2 Pro because Sora 2 Pro, although it's great for making videos about people, if you have a reference 
a photo of a realistic looking person, it will just fail to generate. And a lot of people have been saying like, hey, I'm struggling with generating real people. It's because you can't, like you can only do that with text to video. So if you wanna have control, I would recommend either choosing VO 3.1 or Kling 2.6. The new Kling 2.6 is pretty great. It is just been released. So just try it out and it works pretty well. Now I'm using Kling 3.1 here. Then you select your generation output. And once you generate, you will get a result like this. Gonna be honest with you there, like right here, the first bit, this doesn't look too good. But the rest of the video, we could use this as B-roll while she's talking about it from the previous video. But if you combine both these videos, add some captions, then you can make a cool video like this. I'm actually usually so picky with energy drinks because I hate that chemical aftertaste. But I saw this one called Keeft Energy and decided to give it a shot. Honestly, it's super crisp. I feel awake, but not jittery, which is a total miracle for me. So yeah, definitely gonna grab more of these. Now let's take it a step further. Let me show you how you can make these cool looking unboxing videos where you start off with a talking head and then you have it develop with all kind of different B-roll, all AI generated. Okay, so for our unboxing, we first need to have an actor who's actually gonna use and unbox our product. Now the product that we are gonna sell are headphones. I'm using fictional products right here, but this could be done with like real life products, not with the AI generated images that I've done. Now for the actor, I'm gonna go with Margaret. We have all kind of different poses that she has and I'm gonna start off with this one. So we add in this actor and then we can give her the script. So I'm giving her this script. I'm starting off excited. AirPods Max be gone because these headphones are so much better. They're called Keefed. That's my headphone brand. And they have better like noise cancelling than everyone else. Then we're changing up the emotion to curious and we do a bit of laughing and excited. Now if you put all of this through our cat and you so get something like this. AirPods Max be gone because these headphones are so much better. They're called the Kips and they claim their noise cancelling is five years ahead of everyone else. This is pretty good right? So we have a 22 second clip that we can use for our unboxing. The next thing we need is our product. Now this is the easy part if you already have images of your products but if you don't have them let me just quickly show you how you can create them. So I'm just going to switch over to image. Here I'm just going to describe my image and I'm going to say ultra realistic studio front view product render of the Keith noise cancelling headphones. And I give it a bit of details and I say that's inspired by the Sony WH-1000XM5 because those are great headphones. And now we can choose what we want to use to create. I would say Nano Banana Pro or Seedream both work well in this case. Now for the aspect ratio we're going to keep it 9 by 16 and I always generate like three examples. Now if you're using a fictional product like I did then you might want to generate this a few times so here I have this shot then I also generated this shot it's a side angle and then I have combined the two into one image which we can use as a reference so this way Nano Banana has a bit more context of what our headphones actually look like from the front and also from the side so using this image you want to make sure you download this then we can start with the next part which is making product b-roll and her actually holding the product so what I did here is I went over the actor then I went over to Margaret and then you see this shot right here I took a screenshot of that I put that in the image generator and then I made an image like this you can see it takes me a few tries and I'm gonna be honest with you it will take you also a few tries but that's how AI works nowadays you just cannot expect it to be right at the first prompt so right here we have this image which we can use as our b-roll I added in a few small minor details especially this one very important so this is nothing new we're just transforming this image into a video using Google VO 3.1. Take a look at this. Now we can use this as B-roll in our talking avatar shot. Now you can do this multiple different times. You can use this image even and put this into Nano Banana, change her outfit, change the background, change the location. Or what you can do is if you go over to the actors and you type in her name, this only works if you're using the Arcade's actors. You can take any of these videos, take a screenshot of it and put it inside of Nano Banana. Now that is actually what I did with this image right here. I put her on the subway. Now she's having these headphones on her head and I made this using Nano Banana with a reference image. Now the last step is making a unboxing. So what you want to do here is you want to click on see more then you want to go over to unboxing POV and this is a preset. Here you can choose any type of preset that you want to have for your video. So as you can see the product is appearing right here. Now for our video we're going with this one. 
So you select this and you click on remix. Then you upload the reference image of your headphones. And then you just hit send. And now we'll make an unboxing video like this. Now, if we combine all of this together, then you get something like this. AirPods Max be gone because these headphones are so much better. They're called the Kips and they claim their noise cancelling is five years ahead of everyone else. I tried it and yeah, they're scary good. I commute on the train every day and the second I turn on noise cancellation, it's like the whole world disappears. It's so comfy. The sound quality is amazing. Yeah, just try them. A few other experiments that I tried out with this is, for example, this CeraVe ad. So as you saw in the intro, we have this shot. This is all made using a reference image. I used like literally this reference image right here. That created me this UGC type image of a girl. Like that's how simple it is to prompt. Like UGC type image of a girl holding a CeraVe bottle in her hand as if she is reviewing it. And what I did is I went over the video. I used that image as a start frame. Then you open it. And now I used Clink. 2.6 for this one and I selected five seconds and I gave it my prompt that's how I made that image you can do the same with SOAR 2 but without a start frame because that's the issue with SOAR 2 now to make something like this liquid death generation this is all just SOAR 2 I only used a reference image of the can just so this image the starting frame is literally the start frame that I put in there the rest of it it all came up with it themselves now I'm saying this if you want to get smooth motion you might want to use SOAR 2 too. but you're only able to do it with a reference image of your product but without a character in it so any image like this one for example doesn't work in Sora 2 but the things that do work really well are these like reference images of your product like this unboxing like this works insanely good in Sora the last method of creating these ads that I want to show you is using one 2.2 and this is super powerful but it requires a bit of effort so what you want to do in this case is you want to either find an actor so for example I choose Lucy here as an actor and I made this video about skincare. Now the main thing that I wanted her to do in this ad was point at her face and she went like this and then shake her head like this. Now in order to make something like this, so here we have used one 2.2 animate and as you can see it did that exact motion. It looks a little bit blurry but it did the motion that I wanted it to do because I did it myself. Now in order to make that you click on see more and then you want to go over to replace actor. Here you want to upload a video of yourself and then you want to upload the character now in terms of the character you can take a screenshot of this character then you hit send and then it will do that exact motion for you now these are all the different ways of how you can make product ads or ugc ads using ai if you want to try this out yourself i will leave the link to our cats in the description down below if you want to find a detailed guide including all the prompts that i'm using for this video then make sure to sign up to my free school community where i will share all of my prompts and it's also a super cool place to hang out with other ai and enthusiasts and click the video that's on the screen right now if you want to learn how to make cinematic looking AI ads.